Hai ini. For this video, we are going to discuss about <coughs> sorry how an end to end RPA solution design document and how STD in RP world would be the most important one. See here you can see in previous videos we we gone through how the overviews, how the high level board and the high level STD will looks like, what are the formats everything we discussed in our previous two videos in this video we can go some deeper level what are the risk would be happen in RPA what is the mitigation plan for example if you have a risk in delay how mitigation plan will work Suppose you are working board configuration for the for this website for automation end-to-end -end automation. In that case, delay will work out. So you are giving some manual or configurable delay based on the development machine see you are developing one machine the bot development machine that machine you are provided some delay suppose you are capturing two fields after that you are moving to some other pages so you are giving some delay between that so based on your system performance based on your network and based on your cpu utilization your development machine may work within the two seconds or three seconds of delay but if you configure the same thing in production or some other environments or else you can run from control room or system manager it will not work properly see based on the based on the criteria we have to put some delay so what how delay criteria will be maintained see when we, sorry when you talk about when you talk about delay criteria if you go automation anywhere then delay would be suppose I'm planning to type test environment this is my thing I want to control C I want to do control C and control control B I want to do both keystrokes in my application in that time so minimum delay would be minimum delay will be calculated based on the characters 
see here you, you can see here it is 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 15 characters so 15 characters It is 15 characters, then 15 into 15 into 25. So one character you must give 25 milliseconds. Milliseconds. This is the one. So if it is ten characters, ten, you have to give at least two fifty milliseconds. Two fifty milliseconds. So this is the way you have to be sent. You have to be given the billion. Suppose you are working on prism in that case global and key one or global and key ones you have to give global delay so based on the characters what you have face or you are possible so that kind of things would be important in delays see here of your owner the delay in due to delay in business adoption, identify and prepare the mitigation plan. The next call, yeah. Suppose now you are running in UAT, that UAT machine has not accepted your development delay. So, configure the delay properly and go live, if you go live, give the delay properly. See, this is the way adoption. How to adopt the bot performance. So, and uh, one more thing is introduction to new release of the target system. This is the common thing. See, if you are working on the bot, one bot, suppose that bot. For example, if you, are, if you are working on Google, so Google 1.0 or example 5.0, you are working on 5.0 with 5 fields of complete. Suppose next version available total 8.0 or 9.0 version. Available. So that your fields are 8 or 9 fields. So You need to recapture if if anything in RPI world, if anything new release will happen, any field changes will happen for the particular website or particular application or particular system, the automation will not work. If any modification will happen in ID or name or class, whatever it is. It will not work. This is the main thing. The target system must be the same whatever you uh, automate before and after as well. And uh, that um, that uh, mitigation plan you have to be make sure. So the next concept you can see threatened sales. 
say in our world, credential is most important one. And the credential, what credential management is, what credential management would be the very important and prepared one because based on the credentials only what has to run see the first thing is bot id so suppose you are developing travel era website into the organization so in that time first initial set of this bot id needs to create and bot id has entire access bot developer has to do developer is doing making some fields or uh, doing so many changes the same access has to be happen in bot id also the second thing is suppose you are working on one website so it will expire in every 25 days or else 30 days period of time So in that case, the first time the configuration will be happened in credential manager. So based on the so in credential manager, based on the credential world attribute settings, the bot ID and bot credential bot password will be taken. Suppose your bot is running and your bot is going to be captured some other fields suppose you are in that time your login period your expiry the website expiry period has been expired it means 25 days or 30 days problem has to be completed in that case the exception scenario has to be sent to control room administrator by the bot so bot has to send and the bot has to have capture password expiry page and send the notification to control room administrator and the process owner so bot has to notify your residential has been expired that is the one main thing the second thing is so what is running in particular credential suppose for some reasons that credential first time bot entered the credentials but in showing in the credential so bot has to capture particular screen then bot has to move into the next try so bot will not stop until and unless it is not tried the second time so what in rpa world bot has to try the second we try the second attempt the second attempt as well failed then only bot has to send notification to invalid credentials to the control room admin or system manager or admin so these type of credential settings these type of bot settings is very important and this would be really captured in std as well in std bot credentials how the bot has to run where the expiry will be how many days take how many days the bot will expire how many days the application will be expired how many tablet application, what is the worst and everything will be captured in STD website. Okay guys, let's see our next session. It's time to move to next session. We will see more details in our next session. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye.